Okay, so here's substack. Um, so, and here's my substack subdomain. So this is, for example, the brand, museuli.substack.com. And this is my dashboard. So yeah, after that, um, for example, if you want to change your subdomain, what should you do? And if you had already a lot of posts, how to avoid all these broken links? Um, so there is a setting where you can just go to your dashboard settings and you can change subdomain without breaking links. So there is this option, but you can only do this once. So as you can see here, so this permanently change your publication URL and redirects all links to the newly chosen URL. So basically what Substack does, it automatically creates like 301 redirects. So if it was some uh, 123 substack.com and you change it to another one, it will 123 will automatically redirect to 456.substack.com, for example. And if people visit all pages, they will be automatically redirected. Of course, when if you change your mind again, then it's not possible, then all the links will be broken. And this option seems like won't, won't be available there. You can always change your subdomain if you change your brand here by just tapping change your subdomain. Uh, and this will permanently change your publication URL. Uh, and But changing your subdomain will break all of your links. So yeah, that's that. That's how it works.